hi guys welcome back to my channel today I am going to be making jollof rice sit back and enjoy and please like and subscribe so to get started we have a vegetable oil ginger because ginger is very good our grounded pepper we have our curry powder we have a tomato paste this tomato paste you can get it at Aldi we have the diced you can also get it at Aldi we have the corned beef which is always sold in the African store and we have our white rice I always like to use the jasmine rice and I have my onion pepper, tomatoes, and ginger, which I'm gonna be blending. And I have my sliced onion, and I have my Ghana shittle. Let's start by washing our hands. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting my onions because I'm gonna be blending them. My garlic. So after pouring the oil, you leave it on for a little bit. So now I'll go ahead and add in my sliced onion and stir it up a little. And then let it sit for a good five minutes. turns a little bit brown so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my blended ingredient which is the tomatoes the pepper the ginger and garlic and I'm gonna stir it up a little bit so after we let it sit for a good 15 minute we're gonna stir it up a little bit and now we're gonna go ahead and add in a tomato paste. So I'll go ahead and add in my diced tomatoes and then I'll stir it up a little bit. Now 
now I will go ahead and add in my onga spice, my powdered ginger and my adobo spice. So I'm adding my corn beef to the stew because that's the only meat I'm going to be using. I will now add my jasmine rice and stir it up. So now I'm gonna mix it together. So this is how our jollof is gonna come out. So I'm going to go ahead and add in some water, just a cup of water. That's it, just a cup of water. So I'll add a little salt to it. After stirring it up, I will go ahead and cover it with my foil. So I'm going to Five minutes, you see our uh, jalal is ready to be served. 